Learn with Peppa Pig, your body. Today we're going to learn about different parts of our body and what we might use them for. Yippee! <laughs> Daddy Pig is running a race. On your marks, get set, go! What body part is Daddy Pig using to run? That's right, his legs. What else might we use our legs for? We might use them to ride a bike, play football. And of course, we might use our legs to jump in a muddy puddle. Can you use your legs to jump up and down? Well done, great jumping. There are lots of fun things we can do with our legs. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are playing on the slide today. Candy Cat is a little nervous. Whee! Well done, Candy Cat. Ah, what a lovely hug, Pepper. What body parts is Pepper using to hug with? Yes, that's right, she's using her arms. Can you raise your arms up high in the air? Well done. <laughs> Peppa and her family are waiting to go on a ride. Oh dear, what's that smell? It's baby Alexander's nappy. What body part is Daddy Big using to smell with? That's right, his nose. What else might we need our noses for? Shall we see? Oh dear, poor George has caught a cold. What's that he's sneezing with? Yes, his nose. We also use our nose to sneeze. Achoo! George is eating all his greens today. Well done, George. What body part is George using to eat with? That's right, his mouth. We use our mouth to eat. What else might we use our mouths for? We might tell a story. Laugh. <laughs> or even sing a song. We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the duck Why don't you join in with Pepper? We're going to the duck pond, big wiggle whack. We're going to see the ducks go quack, quack, quack. Fantastic! You're using your mouth to sing. Daddy Pig is reading Pepper and George a bedtime story. What parts of her body is Pepper using to listen with? That's right, her ears. We use our ears to listen and hear. We might use our ears to hear lots of different sounds, such as Baby Alexander crying Or a very loud firework what can you use your ears to hear now? Is it noisy or very quiet? Good work. Oh, look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Would you like to play a game? Ready? What body part is George using to eat his greens? That's right, his mouth. What body part is Pepper using to hug Candy Cat with? Yes, her arms. Well done. What body part is Daddy Pig using to run the race with? Yes, it's his legs. And what body parts is Pepper using to listen to Daddy Pig's bedtime story? Correct, her ears. And finally, what body part is Daddy Pig using to smell? 
yes, that's right, his nose. Well done, you did it. You just learned all about different parts of the body and what you might use them for. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are taking baby Alexander for a walk. Pepper is teaching him how to clap. That's it, baby Alexander. Both hands together now. Clap, clap, clap. Can you clap your hands? Why don't you have a go? That's it. Clap, clap, clap. Good work. You're very good at clapping your hands together. Shall we do another movement? Yippee! <laughs> oh, look. Grampy Rabbit is teaching an exercise class today. Pedro Pony is having lots of fun stomping his feet. Right, left, right, left, stomp, stomp, stomp. Can you stomp your feet like Pedro Pony? Why don't you have a go? Up, down, up, down, stomp, stomp, stomp. Well done. Great stomping. Pepper and her friends are showing baby Alexander how they like to spin around. Whee! Whee! Nice spinning, George. Whoops, never mind. Why don't you have a go at spinning around? Careful now, don't get too dizzy. Well done. It's a lot of fun spinning around, isn't it? Yippee! <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! Pepper and her friends are having a hopping race. Can you see how they are hopping on one foot? Whoops, it's quite hard, isn't it? Would you like a go? Hop, hop, hop. Well done. Now have a go on the other leg. Hop, hop, hop. Nice work. Great hopping. Yippee! <laughs> what do you think Pepper and her friends are doing here? Would you like a clue? It's something Pepper loves to do in a muddy puddle. That's right. Pepper is jumping with all her friends. Shall we see some of your jumping? Off you go. Jump, 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 jump up in the air. Fantastic. What brilliant jumping. Yippee! <laughs> well done. You've been very active today and learned lots of different movements. Which is your favourite one? Is it clapping your hands? Stomping your feet. Spinning around. Hopping on one foot. Or jumping up and down. Or perhaps you like doing all of them. Shall we play one more time? Ready? And... Clap your hands, stomp your feet, spin around, hop on one foot, and jump up and down. Well done, you did it. George is on a nature outing. What's that on George's nose? That's right, it's a butterfly. How many butterflies are there? Let's count, shall we? One. That's right. There is one butterfly. Well done. Let's watch and count again, shall we? How many butterflies are there? Yes, one. There is one butterfly. Good job. Pepper is being a referee today. Referee! Oh, dear. This duck is too sweet. How many ducks are there? Let's count. One, two. Da! 
That's right. There are two ducks. Quack, quack. Let's count again. How many ducks are there? One, two. There are two ducks. Well done. Pepper and her friends are at the zoo. Oh, hello, penguins. <laughs> How many penguins are there? Let's count, shall we? One, two, three. That's right. There are three penguins. Shall we count again together? One, two, three. There are three penguins. Good job. Look at those three monkeys in the trees. Oh, look. Did you spot that one? How many monkeys are there now? One, two, three, four. That's right. There are four monkeys. Let's have another go, shall we? How many monkeys are there? One, two, three, four. There are four monkeys. Excellent work. Pepper and her family and friends are at the petting zoo. Hello, Mrs. Badger. Hello, little chicks. How many chicks are there? Let's count them, shall we? One, two, three, four, five. That's right. There are five little chicks. Ah, oh, how sweet. Let's count them again. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five. There are five little chicks. Well done. You did it. Pepper is feeling very happy today. Yippee! What a lovely smiley face, Pepper. What might you do when you're feeling happy? You might smile and laugh. You might sing a song. Or even jump in a muddy puddle. It's great to feel happy. But sometimes you don't feel happy. Snap! Oh, oh dear. Pepper is feeling sad. Never mind, Pepper. Try again. I don't like Snap. What might you do if you're feeling sad? You might feel like crying and need a hug to make you feel better. Thank you, Mummy Pig. I wonder what we'll learn next. <gasps> Madam Gazelle is feeling scared. What might you do when you're feeling scared? You might hide or shut your eyes. Don't worry, Madam Gazelle. It's only Pedro Pony. No need to feel scared. It's Peppa's birthday and she's feeling excited. What might you do when you're feeling excited? You might dance. Who's ready for a dance break? Why don't you dance along with Peppa and her friends? Woohoo! Yippee! Great dancing! That was fun! Now back to some learning. Pepper is playing with George's dinosaur, but George is feeling a little angry. George wants to play with his dinosaur too. That's why he's feeling angry. What might you do when you're feeling angry? You might frown and stomp your feet. And then you might take a deep breath and count to ten to help you feel better. It's good to try and calm down when you're feeling angry. Shall we try it together? Ready? Deep breath in. And out. Now let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Well done. Oh dear, Pepper and George are worried about that cheeky fly. What might you do when you're feeling worried? You might talk to a grown-up. It's always good to tell someone what you are worried about so that they can help. Well done. You just learned about what you might do when you're feeling happy, sad, scared, excited, angry, or worried. Great job. Pepper is at playgroup 
drawing pictures with her friends. Who's that drawing with her? That's right, it's Candy Cat. Can you spell cat? Let's have a go together. That's right. K -a -t spells cat. Hello, Candy Cat. Pepper and Susie are at the playground. <gasps> Who's that at the top of the slide? That's right. It's Danny Dog. Can you spell dog? D. A. G. That's right. D. A. G spells dog. Hello, Danny Dog. <laughs> Mummy Pig is having a lovely day on the beach. What's that she's wearing on her head? That's right, it's a hat. Can you spell hat? <gasps> a t. That's right. Spells hat. What a lovely hat, Mummy Pig. Pepper is taking a ride in the police car with Police Officer Panda and Police Officer Squirrel. <laughs> Who else is with her? That's right, it's Freddy Fox. Can you spell fox? That's right. F -o -x spells fox. Hello, Freddy Fox. Pepper and her family are waiting for the rain to stop. Can you guess what's behind the clouds? That's right, it's the sun. Can you spell sun? S a n. That's right. S a n spells sun. It's great to play in the sun. Oh no! What's that on Mummy Pig's dough? That's right, it's a bug. Can you spell bug? B a g. That's right. B a g spells bug. What a cheeky bug. Somebody is hiding under the bed. Can you tell who it is? Boo! Of course, it's Peppa Pig. Can you spell pig? Let's have a go together. P I G. That's right. I G spells pig. Hello, Peppa Pig. Being happy today as she's playing with her friends. What fun they are having! Peppa's friends are making her smile. We can see that Peppa is happy. Can you show us your happy face? What a nice happy face! Well done. Oh dear, Baby Alexander is feeling sad. There, there, Baby Alexander. Let's change that nappy of yours. Hmm. Baby Alexander is making a very sad face. He's feeling sad because he has a dirty nappy. Can you show us a sad face? Good job. Pepper and her friends are feeling excited today. They're going to play in the playground. Yippee! Let's play! Can you see? Rebecca Rabbit and Zoe Zebra look very excited. What makes you excited? Shall we make an excited face? Fantastic! George is feeling angry as Pepper is playing with his dinosaur. Oh dear, George. Can you see what George is doing to show us he is angry? Yes. He's stomping his feet and now he has his hands on his hips. He also has a frown on his face. Can you make an angry face? Good job. You're doing very well. Yep. 
Happy! <laughs> Pepper and George are enjoying flying in an aeroplane. But Madame Gazelle is feeling worried. Don't worry, Madame Gazelle. It'll be okay. Can you see Madame Gazelle's worried face? Shall we see your worried face? Well done. Oh, no. Pepper, Mummy and Susie are feeling scared. It looks like a shark swimming in the sea. Can you see how they're huddling together and looking a little afraid? Can you pretend you're scared? Good job. Oh, look, there's no need to be scared after all. It's just Daddy Pig snorkeling. Yippee! <laughs> look, Madame Gazelle is hosting a game. Shall we play our own game? I hope you're excited. Ready? Let's go! <laughs> what are Rebecca Rabbit and Zoe Zebra feeling here? That's right, excited! And what about George here? How do you think he is feeling? That's right, George is feeling angry. What do you think Mummy Pig Pepper and Susie are feeling? That's right, scared. What is Pepper feeling here? That's right, happy. Pepper is feeling happy. And what do you think Madame Gazelle is feeling here? That's right, worried. Who is feeling sad here? That's right, it's Baby Alexander. Baby Alexander is feeling sad. Well done! You've just learned all about different feelings. Madame Gazelle is teaching the class at the blackboard today. Do you know what shape the blackboard is? That's right, it's a square. A square is a shape that has four equal sides. One, two, three, four. Can you say square? Well done! <gasps> Can you see a square here? That's right! The bus stop sign is a square. One, two, three, four. Four sides. Great job! Peppa is flying in a plane. Can you see her through the window? There she is! What shape is the window? That's right, it's a circle. A circle is a round shape that has no sides. Can you say circle? Good job! Let's go again. Can you find the circle here? Well done! The clock is a circle. It has a round shape and no sides. Nice work! Peppa Pig and Rebecca Rabbit are making a fort in Peppa's bedroom. What shape is Peppa's flag? That's right, it's a triangle. A triangle is a shape that has three sides. One, two, three. Can you say triangle? Terrific! Let's look again. Can you see it? That's right, there's the triangle with three sides. One, two, three sides. Very well done! Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are gazing up at the night sky. What's that twinkling above them? That's right, it's a star. A star is a shape that has five points. One, two, three, four, five. Can you say star? Let's find another one. 
<laughs> Can you see it? That's right, there's the star. It has five points. One, two, three, four, five. Well done. You was feeling very happy today. Yippee! What a lovely smiley face, Pepper. What might you do when you're feeling happy? You might smile and laugh. You might sing a song. Or even jump in a muddy puddle. It's great to feel happy. But sometimes you don't feel happy. Snap! Oh, oh dear. Pepper is feeling sad. Never mind, Pepper. Try again. I don't like Snap. What might you do if you're feeling sad? You might feel like crying and need a hug to make you feel better. Thank you, Mummy Pig. I wonder what we'll learn next. <gasps> Madame Gazelle is feeling scared. What might you do when you're feeling scared? You might hide or shut your eyes. Don't worry, Madame Gazelle. It's only Pedro Pony. No need to feel scared. It's Peppa's birthday and she's feeling excited. What might you do when you're feeling excited? You might dance. Who's ready for a dance break? Why don't you dance along with Peppa and her friends? Woohoo! Yippee! Great dancing! That was fun! Now back to some learning. Pepper is playing with George's dinosaur, but George is feeling a little angry. George wants to play with his dinosaur too. That's why he's feeling angry. What might you do when you're feeling angry? You might frown and stomp your feet. And then you might take a deep breath and count to ten to help you feel better. It's good to try and calm down when you're feeling angry. Shall we try it together? Ready? Deep breath in. <gasps> and out. Now let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice work. Well done. Oh dear, Pepper and George are worried about that cheeky fly. What might you do when you're feeling worried? You might talk to a grown-up. It's always good to tell someone what you are worried about so that they can help. Well done, you just learned about what you might do when you're feeling happy, sad, scared, excited, angry, or worried. Great job. Daddy Pig, Miss Rabbit, Pedro Pony and Candy Cat are getting ready to race. On your marks, get set, go! Look at them run. Do you know what word this is? That's right, run! Look at them run. <sighs> Well done, Daddy Pig. <laughs> Mr. Bull is doing some exercise. Oh dear, Mr. Bull, you're going too fast. Run slower, Mr. Bull. Let's say this word again. That's right, run. Run slower, Mr. Bull. That's better, Mr. Bull. Pepper and George are eating dinner. What a mess! Time to help wash up. Do you know what word this is? That's right, help! Time to help wash up. That's better. Pepper and George are with Grandpa Pig in the garden. 
time to clear up those leaves. What a big help you are! Let's say this word again. That's right, help. What a big help you are! What a big pile of leaves! Good job! Whee! Pepper and George are playing in a muddy puddle. Look at them jump! What's this word here? That's right, jump! Look at them jump! Pepper and her friends are having lots of fun. What a big muddy puddle! They can jump very high! Let's say this word again. That's right, jump. They can jump very high. Splosh! Roar! Pepper and George are having fun together. Pepper loves to play. What's this word here? That's right, play! Pepper loves to play. Pepper and her friends are jumping on Mummy and Daddy Pig's bed. Pepper loves to play with friends. Let's say this word again. That's right, play. Pepper loves to play with friends. What a lot of fun!